subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasa here and in this video i am going to show you how you can deploy a sql database on microsoft azure so let's begin the video before we deploy a sql database on microsoft azure you need to know that which sql database you are going to use because Microsoft offers different options according to your budget and performance needs. So for that, you're going to open the pricing page. The link of this website will be in the video description just for your easiness. You're going to scroll down and first of all, you need to select whether you need a single database or an elastic pool. Single database have dedicated resources while in elastic pool, I think you can share resources. Anyways, I'm going to select single database and then you need to select the model which is very important are you going to go with a vcore model or a dtu unit so in vcore you have the option to tell how much virtual cores you need how much storage you require how much memory you require so basically you have much more flexibility in determining what resources you require and vcore is expensive if you go with dtu then it has all the things within one unit like it has its compute memory io and storage so this is not that much expensive as compared to vcore but you have less flexibility so now it's going to depend on price versus performance in my case i'm going to select dtu and then you're going to select your region where you're going to basically host your or deploy your uh, sql database the price may vary a little bit depending on the region now we're going to scroll down if i select the dto then we have basic standard and premium tier in basic tier you can see we have five dtos it includes two gb of storage where you can store your database tables and their data and the monthly cost is 4.89 dollars per month and i think you cannot upgrade the storage with the basic plan however if you go with the standard one you can have 10 dtos 250 gb of storage and the pricing goes on and you can read for the premium as well so since i'm just starting an application and testing it for me the basic plan will work you're going to sign into your azure account and on the search bar just simply type sql and it's going to show sql databases select it we're going to click on create sql database and here you need to enter some basic information here first of all you need to enter the project details you're going to select your subscription then the resource group i'm going to select this one we're going to scroll down and then we need to enter the database details you need to give your database a name and then you're going to select a server if you don't know you need a server which can have one or multiple databases and it is used to manage your database so we're going to first give our database a name then for the server i'm going to click on create new you're going to give your server a name you're going to select the location where the server will be deployed and here in authentication method you have these three options i'm going to select use sql authentication i'm going to enter the server admin login name and a strong password after that i am going to click on ok here you can see it has selected our newly created server then we have an option for elastic pool it is no you're going to select your environment after that we have compute plus storage which is the most important thing we're going to click on configure database because from here we can tell that which tier database we want whether we want a dtu or a vcore by default it is on general purpose and it's going to show you a monthly bill as well in my case i'm going to go with the basic dtu and it is showing the storage that it has maximum of 2 gb and it will cost me this much per month after that i'm going to click on apply then we have backup storage redundancy so this is the cheapest option locally redundant backup storage and zone redundant and these become more expensive however your data is much more available in case of something happens click on networking so we have network connectivity i'm going to click on public endpoint so my application can access my db then we have firewall rules allow azure services and resources to access this server yes at current client ip address the ip address that i'm using right now 
click on yes connection policy i'm going to set it to default then we have encryption which is tls 1.2 security if you want to enable microsoft defender for sql you can start the free trial or pay for it and other things i'm not going to do anything you can change them according to your need so if you have any existing data you can click on the backup button or you can use the sample that they provide in my case i'm going to select none then we have the collation option this is very important so select this according to your data and your application need in my case this will work after that click on tags so just give your resources a key value if required if not you can skip this so i'm going to give a tag for my database and the server after that review all the information that you have entered click on create here you can see deployment is in progress so it may take 5 to 10 minutes so we are going to wait until the deployment is completed here you can see your deployment is complete just click on microsoft azure in order to view the server open your resource group and here you can see we have our sql server and the sql database if you do not see your sql database here just simply open your server expand settings and click on sql databases and here you will see your sql database so if you want to know how you can connect to this database and how you can view data i will share that in the next video that's all for today so yeah guys this is how you can deploy a sql database on microsoft azure if you guys like this video and found it helpful make sure to like it subscribe to my channel and if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below that's all for today thank you for watching and as always stay safe